I'm going to tell you a story, a story about humanity. And like any good story, we need to start at the beginning. A lot of people want to know what the beginning was like for humanity. So after channeling for 40 years, the information has often been asked, where did we come from? The way the story goes from the information gathered from the channeling is as follows. Many hundreds of thousands of years ago, the natural hominid that evolved upon the earth that we often refer to as Homo erectus existed and at one point, the story goes, an extraterrestrial race visited the earth. They came to earth to mine minerals that would help them create a balance on their planet. And in taking on this task, they began to realize that it was quite daunting and would take a long time, longer than they had. It was very important to balance out the weather on their planet with the minerals for a very, very short period of time. And so they needed help in order to do this. They began to look around and saw the natural hominids that had evolved here, who were close enough physically to the extraterrestrials that they thought perhaps if we can somehow train them to be of assistance in mining these minerals, the task will go faster. But being master geneticists, they felt that a way to accomplish this would be to take their own genetics and inject them into the hominids and create them to be a little bit more like the extraterrestrial race so they would be easier to train so that they would be able to understand what the task was all about and help the extraterrestrials who were called the Anu or the Anunnaki. So they undertook a program of genetic alteration where they introduced their own genetics into Homo erectus and other early hominids and began to create what became us, Homo sapiens. A lot of people talk about the idea of evolution and they talk about the idea of thinking that there must have been a kind of missing link between early hominids and Homo sapiens because there seems to be an evolutionary jump that occurred where suddenly we gained much more brain power, much more brain capacity, and it hasn't yet been fully satisfactorily explained how that occurred. It may be possible that this so-called missing link is actually the extraterrestrials that came to Earth so long ago and injected their DNA into the early hominid in order to create Homo sapiens. As humans were created, then they began to act as a workforce to help accelerate the mining operations that were so important to the ETs and allowed them to accomplish their task within a timely manner. However, the idea is that because the ETs were so advanced, these early humans began to kind of look upon them as godlike beings and they began to think of them as something far above humanity. Also, the ETs may have acted to keep the humans at a certain level. In many of the stories that exist in early documents, such as the Bible, these stories are told, but they have been sort of mythologized. And I think they do represent something a little bit more literal. When it talks about the idea, such as the Garden of Eden, and how the gods did not want humans to be as smart as they are, to know the things that they knew, and how eating from the tree of knowledge caused them to be expelled from the Garden of Eden, so to speak. This may be a metaphor for what actually happened in terms of humans seeing the gods and wanting to understand what the gods knew, what the ETs knew. But the ETs wanted to prevent that because then they would be like them and they would know the things they knew and they couldn't necessarily use them as labor anymore. They would want independence as any thinking being probably does. So they curtailed their knowledge. They curtailed their ability perhaps even to learn that knowledge by not necessarily turning on certain markers in our DNA and by leaving those markers off, preventing us from actually being able 
to learn too much of what the ETs knew and how they operated so that we wouldn't become equal to them. So the idea is that eventually the extraterrestrials on the planet that these beings came from may have in fact learned about what these ETs had done in creating Homo sapiens. Now, as far as the story goes, it's possible that they have breached their own laws by doing this. It may not have been something that they were actually allowed to do in creating a sentient species. And so the story goes that they were recalled to their own planet and that from that point forward, once Homo sapiens had been created, the ETs that had recalled the group that came to Earth knew that they couldn't just abandon mankind. They had to guide them from that point forward until they were assured that mankind could perhaps take care of themselves, could understand basic relationships and basic laws, and could create a society that was self-sustaining. And so the ETs sought to teach mankind things like agriculture and mathematics and so on, so that humankind could become self-sustaining. But I think this is where the stories come from, of visitations from the gods over time, to lead us on certain paths, to teach us certain things, to watch over us and guide us. And this relationship, I think, solidified the idea that eventually became the religions of the world, where we know that there is something observing us. We know that there is something higher than us. Now, this in no way, shape, or form negates the idea of the spiritual nature of God or the spiritual nature of humanity. But I think these things have become enmeshed. These two stories have become intertwined and enmeshed with one another. And therefore, there is nowadays no separation between the idea of God as a spirit and the souls of humanity and the idea of who created us. But I think these are actually two distinctly different stories. While we do have a spiritual beginning, I think we also have a different physical beginning that began, as this story tells us, with the ETs that came to Earth and created Homo sapiens. But they have stayed around to guide us after recalling the group that created us, being that that creation was against their laws. So in guiding us, we now have all the stories of being led through the desert, of being taught how to build certain devices, how to create societies, how to have relationships. And this comes across, because the stories have been intertwined, as things like commandments from God, which I think in the early days was simply teaching humanity ways to live, ways to understand how not to fight each other and so on and so forth, how to get along, so that they knew that they could eventually leave us to our own devices and that we could build societies that would one day allow us to sort of reclaim our position among the stars, being the children of extraterrestrial beings.